Hi, I'm Corey. I'm here in Vanuatu, hoping you enjoyed this episode of Trucker Josh Vlogs. Another dog over there. Oh, okay, so he's behind the truck. He just popped out there with his with his owner. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's the dude. There's the dog. So there is a dog. Ah, good boy. Good eye. Wow. Never misses a thing, that guy. So it's uh, morning time. Good morning. Today's gonna be a good day. We're delivering our three packages into Calgary, Alberta, Canada here in the west. And from here we head over the Rocky Mountains to the lower mainland around Surrey, British Columbia or Vancouver, British Columbia for those of you who, more people know where Vancouver is than Surrey. So it's about a 10 and a half hour drive from here. I think I'm gonna go to Hope, BC. Uh, they got really good internet at their Flying J there. I'm gonna see if I can get a parking spot there tonight and upload a couple of videos for you. Other than that, I think it's time for us to get rolling. What do you think, Diesel? Should we go deliver some freight? Well, I'm all ready to drive out of here as soon as they get their pieces off. There was two tarps on my load, so I took the one tarp off, rolled it up, tied it down to the to the deck, and uh, re-tarped the other packages that are going to BC. So as soon as they're finished, they got one more piece to take off yet, and then we'll be on our way to the mountains. We got to work indoors too. Let's go out here and see what they're up to. There they go with it over there. So I got my front piece all ready to go already. That's going to BC. And this piece here is gonna stay here so we just gotta get that off get this frame off of here this is nailed right down so we gotta get that off of there they can keep it I don't want it so I've got quite the collection of tarps <laughs> this row is mine and these are from the driver who loaded this I got to bring it back to him so I got I'm gonna have eight tarps on this load on the way home Really light load though, it was really nice. I can't believe this was a full load. Usually they have me loaded right up to the back. But, oh. These tarps also need some repairs too. They've gotta to be some of the worst tarps I've seen yet. So if you go back out, if you go back out, take a left, Barlow is there, and then McKnight. McKnight will hit uh, Stony, or you can go back Deerfoot. Okay, perfect. Tell which way you want to go. Thank you. Husky that we slept at and grab a coffee and something to eat real quick and then we have a ooh, almost a thousand kilometers or about 600 miles to get behind us today yet right. oh 
Well, and this road is gonna be really interesting to get onto. I wanna turn left here. And, doesn't look like I'm gonna get in here. I might have to get a little aggressive. And we're back home, so to speak. Delivery itself only took about a half hour, even a little less than that, so it didn't take long at all. So I didn't even grab a coffee before I went there, I just went straight there. Don't want to be late now. Coffee can wait, and you won't hear me say that very often. Alright, here we go, here we go. Go right in here. Whoa, easy, easy, easy. I'll lose a tire in these potholes. Turns out the entire truck stop is closed, not just the pumps, till uh, Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so I guess they're doing renovations or something. No coffee for Trucker Josh, so watch out on the road, I'm just saying. It may be a little dangerous being on the road right now until I can find a coffee. Just throwing that out there. I guess I'm gonna go to the Petro Pass on the uh, west side of Calgary. I gotta stop there for fuel anyways. Down to fuel in Alberta before I go into BC. Why won't my phone be quiet? Of course, as soon as I start rolling, my phone just goes wild, eh? But, uh... Yeah, it'll just be another half hour or so. I think I'll live, I, I'm not sure, but I think it should be okay. And we're in the mountains and at a complete standstill. It says a construction zone is ahead and I know they're doing some blasting around here, so I'm wondering if they're doing blasting right now. Terrible time to do it. <laughs> when is a good time, right? I guess at night might be a better time, but then I don't know, maybe they don't do blasting at night. For now, oh buddy, that lane's closed. Oh, okay, all these people, the, the lane's closed. Okay, well, yeah, now you're gonna try to cut in front of the line. Okay, I get it, all right. Uh, more and more people. Yep. <laughs> oh boy, people. Traffic's not moving as far up there as I can see. People are getting out of their vehicles up ahead of me here. I don't know what. There was either an accident or they're blasting right now in that construction zone. I guess we'll only find out when we get there. So we were stopped on the highway there for about 10 minutes. It wasn't that long at all. And this, I believe, is where they were blasting. I'm, whatever they were doing. Here's the sign person, anyway, that was stopping everybody. I don't think they were blasting at this time, but they were probably moving something around. Working on something. See, they're widening the highway here. They're gonna be making it a four-lane highway all the way through the mountains. Which is awesome. I've only been, you know, suggesting that for the last, I don't know, decade or so. But can you imagine how expensive this must be? Okay, why are we stopping now? What's going on here now? Imagine how expensive this must be to build this highway through here. I heard estimates from some people that it costs at some points like a million dollars per meter. Now anybody who knows anything about this can correct me in the comments if, if they want to, because I don't know anything about it. But all I know is building a highway through the mountains is ridiculously pricey. So I'm glad they're actually doing it, you know? It's for the safety of all of us. And us drivers, us truck drivers who come through here more regularly, I come through here at least once or twice, maybe a couple times a month, a few times a month. There's some drivers who do this every day or every couple of days. And to have a four lane divided or, yeah, a four lane divided highway, even if it's just a cement barrier between directions, will save lives. Look at this cliff to our right here, just straight down. Certain death. Right over the edge, they got two barriers at least holding us up here. But, you know, traffic whips through here. The speed limit's 100. A lot of these cars whip through here at 120. Which, uh, so the speed limit in miles an hour. Oh, this guy broke down there. That sucks. 
the speed limit in miles an hour is about 62 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. Uh, and people fly through here at 70 miles an hour, 70, 75. And when you go through here, especially in wintertime with the icy roads, it's it ridiculously slippery. It's very dangerous. It is dangerous. In the year, in the current year, as they say, we shouldn't have that. We should be able to have a safe four lane divided highway through here. It's 2019. Come on. We're not a brand new country. We got the resources, we got the manpower and the woman power. You know, people kind. We got people. Glad to see we're getting it done. Beautiful scenery here though, eh? That's why I don't have the camera faced at me right now. You can just hear my voice because you don't want to see my face when you can see this. Why would I ruin this by showing you my face? Look at this. This is British Columbia. It's beautiful. Actually, I think we're still in Alberta or did we cross? No, we crossed into BC already. Yeah. Oh, this is where that train derailment was. They're still cleaning it up. Wow, that is such a mess when a train goes off the rails. Yeah, they're still cleaning it up there. Almost done by the looks of it, but. Dozen, as they say. Wow. You know, I'd love to have a house right on top of that mountain. It'd be kind of cold up there though, probably. Maybe halfway up, where it's still warm. And then I could have like a, a watch a watchtower right on top. That'd be so cool. Just own a mountain. This is my mountain. Why are we still on the brakes? Is it still construction zone? I thought the construction zone ended. No, nope, never mind. I forgot. It's summertime. Construction never ends. There's another one coming up here. Oh, I see there's a train down off to our left over there. Those are the tracks that derailed. That's obviously not the train that derailed, but uh, the train that derailed was on those tracks and it was a bad one. A few months ago, I drove past here like, just after it happened. They just started like looking at it. It happened like the, I, I came through here I think on a Tuesday or something and it happened on Monday, just like the day before. Okay, why, why buddy? This guy at the front of this line here. 40 kilometers an hour, buddy, buddy, this is not a construction zone. Why? Tourists, I bet you they're taking pictures. Slow down, honey, slow down, I gotta get this picture. Gotta get this picture right, slow down. Doesn't matter who's all behind us, slow down, I need a picture. These guys in front of me are doing half the speed limit. And there's a pickup truck behind me that's getting incredibly impatient. He's already made two ridiculous, dangerous passes behind me that I saw in my mirror. I'm just waiting for him to try it on me. Hope he doesn't hurt anybody. Yikes. It's frustrating being behind people like this who, I don't know what they're doing, taking pictures, sightseeing, or what they're doing, but, you know, when you drive this slow on the highway, it causes people like the pickup behind me to do stupid things. Everybody's got somewhere to be. You know, just try to do the speed limit or close to it, you know? Maybe not half the speed limit. Eh. The roads are dry, the weather's nice. There's Giver. I'm waiting, I wanna catch this guy. Let's see if he goes for it here. He's just waiting for it. I had a guy yesterday pass me around a blind corner too just about head-on, caused a head-on collision with an oncoming SUV with kids in the car. Oh, brutal. But I can understand his frustration. I'm getting frustrated too. This is ridiculous. There's one car at the front of this whole kerfluffle. Still doing almost, uh, yeah, now we're slowing down again. Slowing down, slowing down. Oh my, okay. Half the speed limit again, wow. They might even uh, earn themselves a honk for me when I pass them, I don't know. Okay, here's coming. A, here comes a clearing. I bet you that pickup's gonna go for it. I bet you he's gonna, oh, they're all gonna go for it. Yeah, here he comes. They're going for it. 
of course that car on the front is just giving her now too. There you go, buddy. See, that was an all right pass. That wasn't dangerous at all. That'd give me the, get you the thumbs up from me. He was passing around blind corners behind me there. You know what? I'm just going to mention something right now. Every time you see a crazy aggressive driver in British Columbia, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but they always, always have Alberta plates. Just throwing that out there. That was an illegal pass there too, up ahead. What he did there. They always have Alberta plates. Always driving big pickups. Always impatient. Always flipping the bird at everybody. Here's the Flying J at Hope, BC. Hope you guys don't mind all the road footage today. It really didn't show my face at all. Like I said earlier, I didn't think you really wanted to see my face when you could see all of this. I'm gonna pull in here for the night. Hopefully they still got a parking spot here for me. Uh, they got the best internet here in the area. Let's see if we can find a parking spot. I'm sure we'll find something. A little something something. I mean, there's some spots in the back there. Let's see if we can find something closer to the front. Better internet signal. We got lots back here. My windshield has been really dirty today, too. I haven't stopped to uh, clean it at all. I know. I know, I know. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything in the front row anymore. I'll do one loop. We'll see. So this is where I found a parking spot. I snuck in here between, <laughs> pulled up there where that guy was and I backed it right in here, snuck it right into the back corner. Diesel, look at that. We got the highway right beside us. We get that beautiful highway sound all night. We got this guy here who's got a curtain side, so you know he's not gonna be noisy. He's not idling now when the weather is warm, so he's not gonna idle through the cool night doesn't have a reefer. It's going to be nice and warm. <laughs> Pardon me. It's going to be nice and quiet. I don't know why I said warm. It is pretty warm here, though. It's about 30 degrees Celsius. But I think I got myself a pretty nice little spot here. What do you think, Diesel? Very nice, man. Good skills, man. Good backing up, man. Very good. Very good. And here I am. Here's my face. I do exist. I am the voice behind the windshield. I know I know you didn't see much of me today. Sometimes it just turns out, usually when I'm in BC, because I like showing you guys all the scenery here, it's so much better looking than my face. But thanks for tagging along with me today. Tomorrow we go and make two drops tomorrow morning in Surrey, British Columbia, around Vancouver. And then we reload and we head back home for Father's Day. 
we're gonna host Father's Day at our house, at Britt and I's house, Britt and my, my, mine and Britt's house, mine and Britt's house. We're having Father's Day at our house and hopefully dad can make it home too. I hear he's on his way to Ontario from Georgia right now, I think, or no, maybe North Carolina. He was down in the south anyways, he's on his way up to Ontario right now and then he's coming back for next weekend. So hopefully we can all get together for Father's Day and it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. We're taking pictures apparently, family pictures. I'm gonna need a haircut. I'm shaving it right down gonna be you're gonna have to tune in to see that subscribe if you haven't already subscribe if you want me to shave my head subscribe if you don't want me to shave my head subscribe if you like my videos and hit that like button and I'll see you tomorrow right here we got a lot to do tomorrow so could use the company hey this is John out of Wasso Wisconsin you're watching trucking with Josh on TJV stay tuned <laughs>